Hello everyone and welcome to Channel Peace With Me. In this video, I would like to explain a little bit of the concept of what I mean by Channel Peace With Me. And actually, I'm trying to create a logo, so if anybody can help me with one, I'd appreciate it because I'm so not artistic. <laughs> so, you know, you can put comments in below or whatever. So, the Channel Peace With Me idea came from my Peace With Me book is the book. And it comes from, um, actually, the way I got the name is, is Let There, if anybody knows this song, Let There Be... Okay, so these are these are two these are two of my favorite songs uh, when I was a kid growing up um, in Catholic school and so on and so forth. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me and make me a channel of, of your peace. Actually, make me a channel of your peace was my favorite song, but I do like this song. When I was trying to come up with the name of my book, I was just looking at these two words, these two songs, the names of these two songs. And if you look at this one, if you just take out let all the you know like extra words, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me that's how i got my name in my book peace with me okay because remember the only goal is peace <laughs> so that's how i got the name of the book peace with me and i decided to do like a branding because i went to some seminars and that was you know one of the things they suggested is not basically build everything around the name of the book because if you want to write a second book then People aren't going to know it. So Channel Peace With Me, which is the name of the website, you know, Channel Peace With Me, comes from, obviously, Peace With Me, the name of the book, and then really make me a channel of your peace. This is this is my book, and I'm writing it. Um, so anybody's interaction with that book is just reading it and benefiting from it. But Channel Peace With Me, this, this website that I'm making and the brand that I'm making, is really about inviting people to channel peace with me so to raise their vibration to a peace level if anybody read i don't know if it's down here dr hawkins he has a book called power versus force and i think that's where he has the chart about the vibrational levels of different words or the way people are so i think it's love peace i don't know what vibration is i think enlightenment is the top i think i don't know if it's joy peace love whatever love is below peace and I believe in enlightenment. I'm not sure where joy is. But the point is, is that if we can all just raise our vibration to a peaceful vibration, so above love, you know, not quite enlightenment, that's okay, although I have my theories about what enlightenment really means, but if we can all raise our own vibration to, you know, if you buy into what my idea about what peace is, then, and, and then really bring that to the world, we'll eventually have world peace. We're, we're not gonna have world peace by saying, you should do this, you should be like me, you should believe what I believe, you're terrible, you're horrible. That's not the way world peace is gonna come about. Um, the way world peace, the only way world peace is gonna come about is with each person being at peace with themselves. So in other words, with each person being at peace with me, okay? Really having peace with me. It's like me saying it, peace with me. Okay, so um, so channel so channel peace with me is 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 the culmination of all I guess things that I like and I that I do um, uh, to really try to put that all together because because peace again I think I say it in another video it's not just about what you do at home you know so it's about really when you go into the world and 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 interact with events that are happening in your life um, so let me just erase this for one second. One of the concepts in my book, or one of the concepts of how we're going to get to channeling peace on a very practical level, is if you look at a pendulum, you'll notice that pendulums swing back and forth. You know, it goes from this side to this side to this side to this side. Okay, see why I have to have somebody help me with my logo? <laughs> I can't really draw. But, but basically, the bottom line, you have a pendulum, and it goes like this. It swings back and forth. Okay, and that's fine. And if you'll notice... Most people in life, they don't stay always in a great place. They don't always stay in a bad place. Sometimes they're neutral. You never know, but usually the neutral people are the ones, you know, who hang out really kind of here. You got to watch out for. I've noticed because they usually are just bottling things up and they don't, even though they don't swing side to side. Um, but this is like an energy pattern. And event, sometimes, and I want to show you something else, eventually this starts to swing very high, this starts to swing very high, this starts to swing very high, and all of a sudden you have a cycle. And these I've talked about in other videos, these are the cycles in life that keep going because they have so much energy that you just keep spinning. And sometimes they're good because they're good cycles, and sometimes they're cycles that people want to break. 
So, so again, the, if the whole world is made up of energy. Let's just say I'm going to make it very dumbed down simple because I'm not a scientist, but, and you can neither create nor destroy energy. So you can only alter it. Okay. So if you're the type that swings back and forth or you've really got it going and you're in sort of some sort of cycle that you want to stop or keep going, you know, it doesn't matter. So the point, so the point about channeling peace is this, this swinging back and forth doesn't give you the feeling of channeling, right? This of getting the energy really, really, really high and start, and it starts circling does not give you the feeling of channeling. It's a different type of energy. Channeling is usually, you know, like this, I would say, right? It's more like this. So we're trying to change this energy pattern from here, from swinging back and forth or swinging in a circle either way to really channeling going up. Because again, if you look at Dr. Hawkins book, the vibrational levels are going up. Okay. So, so like down here in your vibrational levels, you maybe you'll have anger. Uh, maybe you'll have, you know, some other ones. I, I don't remember them, but eventually you'll have love, peace, Maybe joy is up here. I don't remember his, I don't remember the, I know love is down here, peace is next, I don't remember. And I know enlightenment, enlightenment is on the top. So I guess in my brain, this is where I am, you know, like in the sense of where, where my goal is. And, and I, and I got that from a spiritual guy. I, I'm sure I'll tell the story one day, but the bottom line is, is we want to try to channel that energy. Now, before you can get to channeling up and down, you have to stop swinging back and forth and you certainly have to stop going in a circle. So if somehow, and you know, that's a whole nother bag of wax, how we're going to try to get this energy instead of swinging to kind of settle. Okay. So if the energy is swinging like this, we eventually want it to get it to settle here. Okay. And then once it settles, then we want to raise it. Now it can also go down. <laughs> Because the bottom line is, is just because this is our desire, let's just say, or our goal, that doesn't mean we're not going to drop. So just be aware that they, that may happen to you that maybe, and again, this is all physical stuff, but anytime you want to understand the metaphysical, I look to the physical, just be aware that when you do settle your energy and you don't swing back and forth and you don't cycle anymore, it's very possible that it can drop. Okay. But at least when it's here, we can start going this way. Okay. Because usually it's harder that if it's swinging, it's kind of hard to get it to just go in this direction or down. I don't know. I hope that makes sense to people. So, so when I talk about channeling peace with me, channel peace with me, wh where I'm trying to go is not the swing, not the circle, but channeling up, you know, but like I said, it's very possible if you're channeling, it can also go down. So that's kind of the idea of channel peace with me. So if somebody very artistic can take this idea and create a logo, I would most appreciate it in channel peace with me, a grassroots movement, meaning that to me, what grassroots means it's about the people, it's about the people. It's not about the politicians. It's not about the people in power. It's not about the elitists. It's not about Hollywood. It's not about any of them. It's about the normal everyday people. I'm not looking to change politics. I'm not looking to change people's opinions about politics. I'm not looking for all that stuff. I'm looking for people to go to the grassroots of themselves. You know, what's the root of themselves and where, how are they going to grow um, and, and go up from there? If you'll notice the tagline on my website, channelpeacewithme.com is stop teaching tolerance and start practicing peace. Because I think one of the problems one of the big problems in our society is because we teach tolerance and not many people are practicing peace. And my acronym for tolerant is just you're told, right, to end the rant. And that's in, in a very not so nice way. That's basically telling people, shut up, shut up and just keep quiet. And it doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter what you think. When you're being tolerant, you're just told to end your rant. You're not learning about evolution. You're not working on evolution. Okay. Or evolving, evolving your ideas. You're not looking to understand anybody else's idea. Um, you're just basically told to end your rant. I mean, that, to me, that's what tolerant is. 
And you could see people are starting to boil over because they're not being tolerant anymore. Now, if we, if we stop teaching people to just be quiet, uh, and we started trying to practice peace, which is more about evolving, then, you know, maybe the world will change. Maybe not. <laughs> so, so the main objective for Channel Peace with Me is to stop teaching tolerance and start practicing peace. 